look at all these vehicles. Do you guys remember Luke? What's going on? If you guys don't remember Luke, um, he did the head gaskets on the LOY. And we are currently in my new truck that I purchased. And Luke was actually nice enough to go pick it up for me in North Carolina. And we're gonna go for a test drive. And after the test drive, I'll show you guys exactly what this truck is. All right, sneak peek. And I guess you guys can kind of tell by the seating that it's a single cab. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's stout. Very 
also like really proud of him too because I mean when I was 23 I don't know what I was doing <laughs> not, yeah. not making this much money yeah so with us moving into this new shop we've just recently opened our medium and heavy duty side um, I've got a technician designated to medium and heavy duty trucks cat Cummins Peterbilt's anything uh, we just don't work on Volvos that's that's a headache in and of itself but all your medium and heavy duty trucks uh, we are now working on tractors no no tractors away from those but all commercial trucks and trailers we are working on nice lawnmowers no no we lawnmowers we don't want okay. any of that all right so medium duty big trucks big rigs or any heavy duty trucks any uh, pickups i mean you work on gas gas vehicles too right yeah we do some gas stuff um it's not what we specialize in it's not what we promote but we definitely take care of our local customers and we'll handle anything they need done yeah any maintenance work uh, lift kit wheels tires rock lights wheel lights you name it hey. I had Luke go pick this truck up from North Carolina was because as you guys know I bought an LB7 two three months ago no it's been about four months four months ago and uh, there's a lot of issues with that truck so I, I wanted somebody who knows about diesels and these trucks to go take a look at it for me so this is a 2001 LB7 Duramax but I know what you guys are thinking that's not the 2001 front end. No, what, do you, what do you think happened? It's an 03 to 06 front end. Uh, previous owner, 4JW got a hold of this thing. Is a he must have clip swapped it at some point. This was actually a DOT truck at one point. Um, Why do you say that? Inside the door jams, somebody has uh, put a pretty rough paint job on this thing. I'm not gonna lie. <clears throat> so this is gonna be another LV7 I get with another paint job but i'm not too mad about this paint job because well the, the inside's kind of hideous um or uh, right there yep right there but then when we pop the hood <clears throat> this is where you can really tell too that so it was a, a dot truck but this paint job is way better than the black LB7 I have at the house. So I am not mad about this one bit because it actually looks like, I mean, even just the door handle, it's a, it, to me it was a more of a proper paint job than the, the cat eye I have at the house. So I'm not too mad about it, but we're still gonna wrap it just because I'm into wrapping vehicles now. Obviously it was a DOT truck at one point. Um, somebody got a hold of this thing, I guess, when this was retired from the Department of Transportation and has actually shortened the bed on this thing. Uh, so, as you are probably aware, these trucks do not come in a short bed configuration from GM. Uh, they come in a long bed. So somebody's actually gone through at some point in this truck's life and shortened the frame down and put a 1500 or a uh, short bed onto this truck. Made it a really unique truck. Oh yeah, so this is honestly one of a kind. Yeah. One of one. It's a pre-emissions vehicle. So it didn't come with EGR from the factory. And now previous owner had put hood stack on here. I've never had a vehicle with hood stack, but it's pretty cool to have one. Yeah, you know, it's, it's definitely in rough shape right now. It's been used, uh, obviously it was a DOT truck. It's been worked its whole life um, up until the previous owner got a hold of it. Like we talked about earlier, there's some some fun stuff gonna be happening with this truck. All right, how is it mechanically? Because that was one thing I really wanted you to take a look at when you picked this up. Because I was scared that with it being like a DOT truck and an LB7, like I'm, I'm kind of traumatized by buying an LB7. So how is it mechanically when you uh, looked at it? Everything checks out. It runs really healthy. Um, 
there is no proof of injectors being done at any point in its life, but for the recorded mileage on this truck, it runs way too strong to not have injectors being done in this truck. Everything runs really good. It's got a no zone diesel built transmission in it. Other than that, it's pretty much bone stock, but it runs extremely well. So yes, it is another two wheel drive, but it's a, it's a single cab and uh, it's gonna be like a daily driver. The goal is to make it go fast. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So it's got built trans already, never had a truck with built trans. So I'm ready to do some engine work on it. So that way I can actually have like a fast truck. Um, all my diesel trucks have just been tuned. Nothing, well tuned and like a, just a drop in turbo. But we got we got some stuff coming for this truck yeah, where, sure. uh, like we talked about earlier, there's some some serious parts on the way for yeah. this. Thing. So I'll finally have a fast diesel truck on the channel. That you know that wasn't like that isn't Holden's truck, but it looks like stock suspension, uh, 20 by 12s on 420V. So yeah, I mean the previous owner was going for that street truck look as well, and for the most part. We're probably gonna keep the look. Um, I'll probably pr throw some different wheels on there, some hostile wheels. They shortened the bed. Air dog, lift pump. Yep. And other than that, like, we don't really know too much about the engine. Um, all we know is that it's just been hood stacked and there was really nothing listed on the listing stating the engine mods. Yeah, so the owner that I picked this truck up from actually really didn't know much about this truck at all. Um, he had acquired it from somebody locally to him, um, but really didn't have much information at all on this truck. So everything we've kind of had to figure out ourselves. And then I was a little hesitant because the coolant reservoir was a little was a little black. But um, what was our conclusion? Uh, it may just be soot coming out of the hood stack. Uh, it's actually staining it. You know, it's kind of hard to hard to say for sure. But it really doesn't matter if it's got. I mean, we don't think it has bad head gas. No, I don't think so at all. You know, it, you know, you're not getting any excessive coolant system pressure. There's no blow by at all through the motor. Your injector cups are seated. You know, everything checks out on this truck. Huge shout out to Luke at Southern Belt Auto because I mean, without him, I probably would not have bought this truck, and I probably wouldn't be buying another truck for a while just because I'm traumatized from <laughs> buying a truck. Um, so I am. I'm gonna make some progress on the cat eye first and then we can really dig into this single cab build and make it go fast and we'll put it put it on the dyno here soon yeah after we get all the engine work done looks, looks beautiful and it runs good uh, perfect grocery getter for, oh, for, sure. for, for now it's, a, it's not a truck you would see every day it's not a truck you expect to see either a single cab it, it makes it so much easier for you to just get in and go go pick up some groceries or go get milk or something. Oh, for sure. Yeah. While it's been here waiting on JW to come get it, I've driven it quite a bit, and it's it's a fun truck to drive for mm -hmm. sure. Small, short. Yeah, it, it goes everywhere you want it to go, and you know it's just it's easy and convenient to drive. Oh yeah, I mean it fits in the parking spaces actually. Oh, for sure, and you know it's one of those trucks you can just squeeze in and out of traffic, and it, it's great to drive. Make sure to follow Luke on uh, on his Instagram page. You have what six hundred, almost seven hundred followers yeah, now. Yeah, like six hundred and sixty something followers. So let's get him to a thousand followers. I wonder if they, I wonder if we can make that happen. I believe in you guys. So make sure to go follow Luke. I'll put the Instagram handle right here, because <clears throat> for the most part, I am taking the stroke home so that way I can wrap it. But it is going to come right back here so that way Luke can do all the work. I am not even going to attempt to do compounds on this truck myself. <laughs> And uh, there's a lot of stuff I want to do to it that I'm not capable of doing. So we're going to drop it right back off here at the shop. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not taking it today because I drove my LML here. And I am a good driver. I just can't drive two vehicles at once. So uh, next time you guys will see this truck, it'll be at my house. I think Luke might be dropping this off at my house. Yeah. And then when he drops this off, he'll be taking the cat eye. So that way we can get some work done on the cat eye. So we're gonna be all we're gonna be here a lot. Yeah. Yeah, and sure. then he's gonna be documenting everything we do to this truck and then the cat eye on his Instagram story and posts and all that. So make sure to go give him a follow. Let's get him to a thousand uh, followers. All right, that sounds good. All right, I'm trusting Luke that it actually drives well. Whoa. 
Dude, that torque is insane. For sure. Is that from built trans? Uh, part of it. Part of it's just this thing being so darn small. Yeah, I guess. I've never had a truck with built transmission, so I'm not used to all the. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This thing shifts like factory. It drives really well. Yeah. Dang, I can't wait to get this back and just drive around and get groceries. It's a fun little truck, that's for sure. But especially like after you do all the work to it. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be down. crazy. Actually, come did it come with the SP5 tunes? Yeah. Take a left. Take a left. Yeah. Well, we're on tune one. Yep. Tune one. How's it do on tune five? It's it's wild. Is it really? Yeah. I don't think it's tuning he has. Usually when I buy a truck, I really don't worry about like, what kind of tunes are on it because for the most part, I'm gonna go with like the reputable guys who could've gone I was talking. Yeah, I go with like Corey for LB7 tunes. So, I'll probably get a reach by Corey. Compounds and the full belt motor. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a rowdy little truck. And when we bought it, they said they didn't know anything about injectors. So it's a stock turbo. Yeah. As far as we know. Yeah. As far as we know, everything internally stock. Dude, this is way too fun to drive. Oh, it's extremely fun to drive. And I let you drive it for. What, three weeks? Yeah, I had it for about three weeks before JW could get up here and I drove it. Yeah, I didn't drive it all the time. I have my Denali, my L5B. That's true. And I drove it here and there and it's it's a fun truck to drive. Oh yeah. But at the same time I wanted him to drive it so that way he just to make really make sure there was no issues. 